Hello there, welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3. We're playing as Grand Prince Arpad Almofsi of Hungary. And I want more land. I want more prestige, but at the same time I want more land as well. I want to be able to keep uh, going through the uh, tribal laws here. We can't do this until 98. So we've got a while, and I, I want to bring it to Moldavia. They've been attacking me. Look at this, this knob head over here. We'll uh, declare war to uh, conquer the duchy. Yes, the entire duchy of uh, Bukovina. It's right there on a the border. It's going to really uh, ruin the border look at the moment. But we can get through here and take all of this, take all that. It's going to be glorious. Let's um, go ahead and confirm. Wait, there's subjugate. I can subjugate his entire land and have him as a vassal. That's a lot more land. Hmm. Take all of his land. Now we can press his de jure down here. Okay, yeah, let's let's declare war on him to subjugate him. Or we can keep spreading our own faith. And it'll take a bit longer. No, no, let's just go for all of his lands there. Entirety of all of this. Now, you don't actually... Uh, you're not part of the area here we're going for. But it'll be fine to uh, take you. War has been declared. We'll be uh, amassing our troops over here in the east somewhere. We'll create a... Uh, let me get through there. We'll create a rally point here. Raise the entire army. Don't quite have uh, any more mana times available. Then we get all of our forces together. They reckon three days left, one day left, and we are there. Let's go straight after his forces. This tribe will go into there. We'll try and his army is actually splitting in half, so we'll try and take them half the time. No, he's changed his mind after seeing me. All that makes sense indeed. Uh, we do have an empty counter position as well. We'll give our martial spear a spot to the prince here. He's the best man for it. And let's ensure that our family members here actually have wives. Prince Tarkasus does have a child. His wife died. So we go ahead and try to find him another one. There's an Ulfing. Somebody with good stewardship. I don't care if I lose his prestige. Good stewardship and relatively young. He himself is 27. 23. Uh, that's just not pop. Oh, 17. Where's the 17 year old? There. Norse. Do you want all those Norse genetics? Yeah, sure. She is Gregarious, patient, and generous. She would be a good match for him. He'll lose a bit of prestige, but he will uh, he will have a good match. His brother is married. His other brother is not. I will just go to find you a match. You are 14. No, he's a 16-year-old. She's greedy, sadistic, and brave. Well, let's not do that then. Let's go ahead for another one. He's got relatively good stewardship here teenager if we can find one. Teenager of uh, nobility, ideally. Ah, 15 years old. She is Sumensko. Greedy, arrogant, compassionate, and quick-witted. That's good. We'll go ahead and choose her. He will, of course, lose prestige, but he can get comely, which is good fertility. Diplomacy and quick, which is, again, good there as well. Excellent. Excellent. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, an ally has joined our enemy in his war. Making this a lot harder than it had to be. But we should still be fine. Both their armies appear to be around here. No? Is that not both their armies? I'm not sure who these people are, but we'll go ahead and siege this land anyway. Excellent, we have new women in the family. A little perks again. Golden obligations. Tax man. I do like the idea of tax. Let's do it. We'll become the tax man. I already have a lot of money, but. There's uh, no negatives to having more money. More money is always good. So I'll never complain about having more money. Talking of money, this uh, campaign is actually sponsored by Pax Britannica. I have been sponsored, yes. And if you would like to uh, support a channel, go ahead and check out their links down below. They are a narrative history podcast covering the British Empire. Now, I have a daughter. Arani, Boulder, Bogard, Enne, Enne. Diva. We'll call her Diva. Sure. May you grow up to be strong and wise, my daughter. Excellent. We have won the siege here nearly. We do have to defeat some of these fools to find the power of the stag. That's not sure. Ah. But it doesn't matter. You force you to run through us and you'll be destroyed. Excellent. We uh, defeated them there. They actually killed a fair few of us. Must be quite an elite band they had. 
Next, we have defeated them. Now let's go after their armies. We'll have to go through their territory. Can we just... Let's try and take their capital on the way, perhaps. Because they do have more and more reinforcements coming in. And I don't have to want to have to deal with all of these fools. Let's win their capital. See if that's enough. 3,300. We have taken the king's son into prisoner. Now we... We're going to get outnumbered here by knights. He's got six knights plus... I can't actually see how many knights are in these armies. They are quite elite. Okay, let's run out of here. Let's uh, get back to our own land. We'll support this here mountain pass. We could raise mercenaries. We have a lot of money. We really do. The Company of the Arrow Rain. How many knights do you have? Two knights? Two knights? Two knights. Anybody here got more than two knights, perhaps? Not available. I don't want to hire too many, but maybe we should. We do have a lot of money. We can just spend 500 gold, guess. Uh, four guys there. Four champions. Four. 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 Three. Uh, four. No, you do want high quality as well. You're very high quality. Three uh, bagaters. I'm not sure what they are. Paching Band of Odessa. They're local. We'll go ahead and hire these chaps. Hire for four, for three years. 373 gold. Horse archers, levies, and armoured footmen. Plus three gentlemen here. I hope they are good. Eh, not terribly bad, but we'll hire them anyway, and we'll have them come all the way over to join us. Now, with all of our forces together, we will surely defeat these fools. But it might be more worthwhile to get several smaller bands. And we could have had more knights on the front lines there. What is this? Patrol fulfilled. Excellent. My half-sister is now married to Ota. Excellent. He's waited a very long time for this. I'm sure he'll appreciate having her around now. Prisoners can be uh, taken. We'll uh, be ignoring that, though. We just need to have a battle victory, and then we will uh, be well on our way to victory. 5,000. They have more forces. But let's get straight into this mountain here. Uh, defending in the mountains is what I will have. Oh, good. If we can take it in time, I would like to defend in those mountains. Excellent. We have engaged engaged them. We do have to defend in the mountains. Superior quality and superior quality. We have 11 champions. They have three. I'm sure it would go well. They do have reinforcements on the way. Including a lot of champions now. And we still have the numerical advantage. Hopefully we can run off a lot of their forces until the other ones arrive. A wounded. My champion here has been wounded. That's a shame. There's nothing that can be done. We still have nine against their seven. They will have reinforcements of the champions soon. Twelve champions against my eight. And the numbers are very close. Hopefully, though, we can keep up the forces here. Looks like the numbers will not be a problem. Or will they? Uh, my Chancellor has been wounded, Jalek. There is nothing here that can be done. The battle is getting closer. Still our advantage. But they did catch up a little bit on the numbers there. My Spy Master is now wounded as well. This is not great. People are getting... Uh, a bit hurt here. But we have the numerical advantage thanks to our mercenaries. We should surely see a victory here. Yes, we are now routing them all the way off. They have, do have potential reinforcements coming in. But I don't think it will matter. We have got victory here. And that will give us 94% war score. Our glory is widely known. We're now exalted. No, we're illustrious, not exalted. Anyway, my glory is widely known. We lost 1,255 men. Our enemies lost 1,331. My champions, 7 out of 11. I lost 4 champions, my goodness. They lost 5, however. So we did do much better there. Oh, these other units did do terrific. Excellent. Boru single-handedly killed 72 men. Boru, you are a madman. Chieftain here, he killed 70. Oh, these other chaps, they did do very well. But it looks like Eze, Kuzi, Kostas, and Arpad. Arpad? Was he not? Oh, it wasn't the relative Arpad. It's a different Arpad. Yes, because I'm Arpad. It's not my heir, it's me. Well, let's dismiss that. 
We are very close to having a war score, so we are going to go to the tribe here and secure it for the uh, undoubtedly 100%. <sighs> A new claimant, you say? Of all the buffoonery I have ever seen, in Jellic's inane efforts to improve relations with my neighbours, my good friend Chance Chancellor has officially acknowledged Queen Jarmil's claim to chiefdom over there. Oh, you're not supposed to make friends. Oh, you're supposed to make friends, not enemies, yes. Oh, well, this here will surely give us 100% of the realm. It's will. Excellent, will enforce our demands. So be it, Hungary has expanded. And so our armies will expand. Oh, that did include the mercenaries, but we can simply get them back. They hired for two more years. Raise them. Or teleport them, more like. Okay, there's plenty of people around here we can go after, including this Galaz. I'm not sure whom they are. Who is this Galaz, gentlemen? Who are you? You there. Declare war. I can subjugate her. I don't quite have that. I can conquer... I can't conquer the duchy. I can conquer a county. There's only one county there in the first place. So yeah, let's declare war on her and take that. Bulgaria holds these lands. But are you the same Bulgaria? Yes, you are the Khan of Bulgaria. And you are very weak. Is there any way at all we can claim the... Uh, Duchy of all that land up there. No, they're all different. So we'll go for the county in Moldavia. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. I should just look, see what it's called. Stongeste. Ah, there you are, right there. Excellent. We'll confirm that as well. We'll declare this war. I'll take all of this area right here. Let's rally the troops from in here. That would be a terrific position for them. Hope that includes our mercenaries. I'm sure it does. Let's go into this barony and take over all of these walls. I had war of this wall as well. Four months, they believe. Huh. I'm sure it won't take that long. Bogat, my son has come of age. They grew up very fast. Indeed, he's still on the to the Chiefess over there. Not the Chiefess, she is the High Chiefess of. No, she's in service to a High Chiefess. Nothing in this world is certain, especially in times of war. The Hungary conquest of the County of Songesti has been no different. This conflict no longer against the Khan of Bulgaria, but Chieftain instead. Uh, my goal is all the same. We are at war with. It's only totally a different guy now, and I am glad that'll make the war much easier. We'll simply uh, get his war over and done with first. We'll go over here and deal with them, and then we'll simply besiege this tribe over here. Three months, they believe. Well, we've got the time to wait. The trove can marry. Send the trove. Excellent. There is an empty council position. My Chancellor will give that to one of the High Chiefs here. We'll give it to you. And the Steward will give that to the Prince here. Very good. Excellent. Everybody will be happy now. Not everyone, but a lot of people will be happy now. Good. This man here has been defeated with force. I want to and we'll go over to deal with the rest of them. So we've gained this land here. It is in the Dijon Duchy of Moldavia. Which belongs to... Wait, do I hold the High Chieftain of Moldavia? No, this is the High Chieftain of Moldavia. Who, who owns it? You do. So is there two vassals here? No, there is you. Who owns... That oh, it looks like they have been split up. Okay. I see your flag there now. Oh, you'll be wanting that, will you not? Because that is de jure part of no, it's part of the high chiefdom of whatever. Yes, which is what she has. Okay, I'm a lot of wasting time there. Let's grant it to her. 
Grand Titles, Stone Este and the Grand Principality of... No, let's just grant another Stone Este. She's a high chiefess. But do I have the Kingdom title then? Grand Principality of Moldovia. Oh, I do. I have two kingdoms now. I need to get up to that tier there soon. Otherwise, I think this is going to be split up when I die. Okay. Well, we are working on it. I'm sure we'll have it someday. We'll take over this place. And there'll be another county towards it. It shouldn't be too hard. They will have land occupied, but it doesn't matter if we take their capital. Still can be ransomed. We'll go ahead with that. Good deal. And we have won the war there, so we'll go ahead and uh, enforce the demands as well. Excellent. Galat here is part of Moldova as well. So again, you there will be granting you this bit of territory. Galati. There you go. You are unmarried and 11. Can we arrange a betrayal at all? Arrange marriage between yourself and one of my chaps. Do I have any chaps? I have a daughter and his son. Well, I have his daughters. So, never mind. Why do I have so many daughters that are older? We're 28 and never married. Well, let's fix that, shall we? Let's go with uh, prestige gain. My nephew, no. Tokto. Yeah, sure, send her off to marry that dude. Then we got you, you are 10, there's no rush here. I'm going to just leave that where it lies. Very good, Hungary is growing ever stronger. Good deal has been had. Good deal again. An alliance formed, well, I'm very glad. Uh, what is this? We're at war with these people. Why? They're trying to see Galati, well... Hopefully I can take you afterwards, because that will really fix in the border core there. Oh, we can unlock a new lifestyle perk. Well, I don't mind if I do. Garrison size and some extra stuff there would be great. And the Arpad Dynasty is now known far and wide. Our Splendor has gone up. Very good. We are illustrious. Which means I can now do the Duchy invasion if I so wished. Or was it the Kingdom one? Alright, well, let's get our forces out of here. Dispatch them all. We'll uh, get rid of this. Let's see if we can actually go to war with him straight away. Declare war. Conquer county. The only one he has. There it is. Let's uh, go ahead and issue another rally point over here. I know we just left your realm, sir, but we'll be uh, right back at it. Can we go straight over there? Is it love, they say? I can scarce remember what my life was like before Jolene declared her love for me. I'm flattered, but also overwhelmed by her attentions. I find myself longing for some peace and quiet, yet I cannot help but worry. Will I be throwing away my only prospect of true love? That cannot be right. Can this? She might well become my soulmate. Sure. The Wild Hunt. I'm out riding when my horse suddenly throws itself off a path. The fall is unavoidable and knocks the air out of my lungs. When I look up, I find myself face to face with a wolf. Before I get the chance to scream, the beast collapses, an arrow between its eyes. Ah, oh, pad, my little firebrand. I thought I'd lost you. My hero is none other than Jolene. I need you, my love, right here and now. She has become my soulmate. Absolutely glorious. I'm very glad. Uh, let's just take this man. It's a shame I can't simply assault it. We have plenty of catapults. A faction has been created against me. Ah. Let's enforce demands here. Get this land under our control. Very good. We'll disband all of our forces again. And we wish to continue trying to get the uh, Carpathia title here. We have. 50 out of 61. There are some lands around. Like up to there and it's down to here. 
Well, RTR would be the one. We do have that truce, however. And then there's this Rab fellow. Do we still have a truce with you? We don't. So I could conquer your duchy once I had the prestige. I do have the prestige. Visigard, Nitra, Rab. I'd rather go for Rab. It's more land. Let's get out of here and make sure it's all part of it, though. Duchy of Rab is part of Carpathia, yes. See, we have the duchy of Visigard. But we don't have that, that, or that. So there's three counties there we could take. To fight you, though, I also have to fight East Francia. I'm sure we can take them on once more. Let's go and declare it. Conquer the duchy. Of, yes, of that. Declare the war. Excellent war has been declared. We can do not much. Do I have a rally point? I do. Rally all of the forces here. That includes the mercenaries, which I should still have. Very good. If I need to renew it, I can renew it. Let's get over here and start taking lands. Their army, one of their armies has arrived. I could do it. An OMT cancel position, my spy mask. Let's give that to uh, Vassal and Champion. And Sun. Sure, Prince Bogart. You're not a lord? He is of Transylvania Dams, of course. Very good at fighting. Hopefully you don't die in the battlefield, son. Hopefully not. I would hate for such a thing to happen. But anyway, we're going to end the episode here. And when we come back, we'll continue trying to occupy all of this man's land. Um, they are... Maybe if I take his capital, I'll be to get victory. But we'll... Yeah, we'll go straight for his capital, I think. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this campaign. Goodbye.